What is going on, YouTube averse? John Stanek from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday. And I'm so excited to be talking to you about the queen of soul herself, Aretha Franklin, and my personal favorite top five songs of hers. This was tough to whittle down, but let's get right to it. At number five, I say a little for you. I Say a Little Prayer from 1968. This is just such a beautiful song. It's got a, a, just a little bit of uh, balladry mixed in with that uh, R&B style that Aretha made so popular the year preceding this uh, on the album, I Never Loved a Man the Way That I Love You. This is, track actually was written by Burt Bacharach, which I was kind of surprised to hear that, him having a little bit of a jazz your influence but uh, Aretha makes this song her own as she does so many others and uh, of course the background vocalists just really take it up a notch and I just I just love the whole message uh, the the positive vibe of this song it is one of her best and that's at my number five now at number four Gotta Love Think Man from 1968. This song actually was written by Aretha herself. Uh, a lot of people don't even realize that she wrote a lot of her own songs and she played piano very well. And this is just one of those songs that's amazing. The original version is great, but I actually love the version from the Blues Brothers movie from 1980. If, uh, if you haven't seen that movie or heard the soundtrack, it's like her voice, like a fine wine, gets better with age, and it's even more powerful when she's yelling freedom and, you know, doing all the choreographed moves there in the cafe. So awesome and just such a fun song. So that's at my number four. Now at number three... Chain, chain, chain. Chain, chain, chain. chain of Fools from 1967. Gotta love this track. I mean, just it's got that that Motown kind of vibe, the soulful sound with uh, just that kind of I don't know. It's it's almost got that rough edge to it that that you have to have with that kind of sound. Uh, of course, like the just that overall Stax vibe with the the bass and drums kind of leading the charge, but then also the guitar, the the uh, the background vocalist, and of course. Aretha Franklin just leading the way with those amazing vocals. No one else sounded like her. That's why they called her the Queen of Soul. And uh, this song just shows that off in such a perfect way. And that's at my number three. Now at number two. You make me feel. You make me feel. You make me feel like a natural woman. This song was written by Carol King, and Aretha redid it, claimed it as her own in 1967, as only she can do. And man, did she, I mean, most people just assume this is Aretha's song, but man, again, like I said earlier, Aretha just never lost it, man. Even uh, towards the end of her career, when, if you've ever seen, and you can just look on YouTube right now and come back to this, because it is so good. But her at the Kennedy Center honoring Carol King, actually, performing this song, it's like you just get chills when uh, she takes off that jacket and she just hits those high notes. Uh, you feel like you're in church, man. It's beautiful. It made Barack Obama cry. And that is why she's just really one of the best vocalists of all time. And that's at my number two. Now at number one. What you want? Respect. I mean, come on. Had to be respect. This is the song that she really is known for and for great reason. And uh, a little known fact, this song was written and originally performed by Otis Redding. And again, this is another example of Aretha taking someone else's song and completely making it her own with the background vocalists, especially with all that, you know, the, the breakdowns of the R-E-S-P-C-T. She added that in there and the whole Socket to Me, Socket 
to me stuff. It's just brilliant and just the energy of this track. Uh, gotta love it. I mean, I had just the the privilege of playing in a band that uh, we had a sax player and a female vocalist for a while and anytime we would do this track it was just so much fun to do and I mean it's just one of the greatest songs of all time and uh, and one of the best of that year obviously Aretha Franklin just rest in peace one of the the most amazing vocalists artists period and uh, just I, I can't say enough how much she has given to the world of music and uh, even if it was just for this one song alone, uh, man, so great. So that's my top five. Let me know in the comments below what is your top five. If you're so bold, leave me a top 10 because there's so many great songs that I didn't even leave on here like Save Me, Dr. Feel Good, uh, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You. I mean, so many great tracks and uh, just got to love her. So thank you guys. And uh, we got top fives every Friday, album reviews, so much more. Thank you. And as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out some of my other content that you can see on the screen now. Thank you again for supporting Johnny Radio. Take care and I'll see you soon.